These Ophelia-like ladies arouse curiosity because they are stunning and quiet, and men tend to remember their tragic past through their eyes. Though little is known about Stevens as a person, she is frequently discussed in terms of her beauty and innate melancholy. What about Inga Stevens? Moreover, what happened to her? Inga instantly evoked pity when she was on camera. She was too kind and true to play the bad girl, even if she wanted to. Her early creations were helpless, anxious and frightened tiny butterflies, who frequently needed rescue from the big, evil, ugly world. However, she would go on to become a terrible and very unfortunate statistic in Hollywood, overtaken by a pervasive inner sorrow that was concealed by a cheery demeanour and a dazzling grin. As it became apparent that the actual Inga was the chaotic opposite of the idyllic beauty she tended to present on camera, a weird attraction concentrated on her after her death. She was actually a mystery. After Inga Stevens' tragic death, the world was immediately curious about her, or at the very least sought to understand her life. Inga's unhappy life can be attributed to her difficult upbringing. She was a timid, reserved young woman. Being different is the most terrifying thing for a youngster. The little girl experienced excruciating social isolation at her school. At age 15, Inga fled her home after finding her life intolerable. She eventually joined a burlesque chorus line and was paid $60 a week. She was successful in getting some modelling employment. But the empty modelling tasks gradually made her bored and disenchanted. Her habit of having affairs with married men left her depressed and suicidal. They destroyed her and caused a severe case of sadness. She then made an almost deadly suicide attempt, from which it was predicted that she would not survive. By pure chance, Inga was discovered in time after ingesting an excessive amount of tablets. It was obvious at this time how devastating her addiction to onset relationships had become. People like Inga, who had a lack of emotional support from her parents, frequently engage in promiscuous relationships with others who care little or nothing about them. These relationships were particularly risky since Inga would have to go through her family's dissolution all over again when the movie ends and the actors part ways. It appeared as though the solution to her mental issues was actually leading up to a fatal outburst of all the trauma she had experienced growing up. She was essentially dousing the flames with gasoline to put them out. She was found on her kitchen floor on April 30th, 1970 by her housekeeper. The unexpected death of Inga caused great shock. Her suicide simply did not appear to fit with her sense and sensitivity on film. Inga seemed genuine and was far too bright and unassuming to ever slip into a blurring, disastrous merger of reality and Hollywood fiction. In contrast, to the opaque and fake Monroe's and Mansfield's of her time. Click here to watch this video next.